hanging out at Shore with Shorty here. Hey Shorty, what are you working on right now? <laughs> just messing around, man. Yeah? What do you yeah, got? Yeah. What do you got? Oh, I actually just messing with one of the one of the beats that Ian made on the road on tour, like what, how many years ago? That's me. A long time ago, <laughs> man. Hey, why not? So I guess the cool thing about it is if we look at our setup, uh, we'll go to our inventory and we have the bridge, the, br the bridge, the right? bridge, the bridge, the bridge uh, is over, <laughs> the bridge is over, the bridge is over. Yeah. So the bridge is over here. All right. And if you look up over the back, you can kind of see that there is a Maddie card in it. And so we're doing some further okay. testing with the Maddie card. Um, and then we got the Texas front of house on there just messing around with uh, just using it for our IO feeding stuff. Right, right. But I'm feeding 64 channels of audio out through the Mo2, which is Maddie. Okay. And I'm spitting Maddie out of that into mm -hmm. the bridge mm -hmm. to get from Maddie to sound grid. Okay. So that's where we're taking our inputs from, coming in on Maddie. That's pretty and cool. As you can see, we got 64 channels dancing around. And yep, it's, yep. All, uh, it's all... It's Nice and clean. Okay. Okay. Works as it should. Again, nothing to configure on the bridge. It's just plug and play, really. I mean, you got, you know, as usual, just your clock settings and whatnot. But, I mean, you don't have to set anything up. All we were doing over here is setting up our patching and everything for the Mo2. We had to route that. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, then all we were doing is over here is just taking our inputs from the bridge. So Ooh, one swipe pretty, down, uh, pretty basic, one pretty one, simple, right? Yeah, just for running this thing through its paces, making sure you know she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. It's and been stable. It's been running for hours now. Oh, it's been it's running been all day. So I see you got some of these NXs sitting there right now. Yeah, the uh, the head trackers for Waves NX Whoa. because now we have NX and SoundGrid. So I'm gonna be messing around with that, doing some fun stuff where we could be doing stereo in ears. And okay. see if we can get away with actually doing that live if we get enough connectivity to be able to use it reliably to where we can have artists with stereo in ears yeah, doing yeah. a whirly bird and having the stage move around them like it should. So, I think it'll be great for the stuff that I do. Um, cool. Yeah, the stuff that I do on the road uh, with the, my, my artist moves quite a bit. So I think it'd be great uh, if we could incorporate that. That way he can get that 360 um, through that. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just yeah. be able, when he turns, he feels it. It feels like he's active on stage, and I think that's great. So yeah. that'd be really cool. We're gonna feel try more to natural, it. right? Instead of yeah. like everything just stays in that stereo field as he's moving around, it would actually move the way it should. Like drums, it'd still be behind him. You know what I mean? Cool. So, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I kind of wish I had more to say about it right now. But I mean, it's Pacing. I guess it's a good thing that I don't because it's just that bulletproof. I mean, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. It's as yeah. transparent as it should be. So. Cool. You know, if I walked into a gig and I was on the road, I was flying and I was bringing this with me and I didn't want to carry stage boxes and I could take a Maddie feed from the house or whatever, then it's as easy as just bringing the here bridge. And that's my, that's my interface to my eye out. Sure. So, any, anything with this setup in particular, like with this stuff that you've noticed, any issues at all that you've run into? No. Um, no? no? Controllers doing so good? Much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything's, everything's doing really what it's supposed to be doing. Cool. So, What's uh what's that new controller that um, we've been talking about? Uh, the bit? new one that's coming out or actually is out now is that Waves Fit. So we should have a couple of those Ooh. coming here before too long. Can't um, wait to see that. That and then that actually sits inside the chassis. It can. So you actually have the option to mount it where the bottom screen would be. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah. So I don't know. I think we'll end up doing that. I think we'll take our bottom screens out and put the fits in there. And then if we need the additional screen, we'll just have some mounts so that we can just put an ergotron mount on and slap a second screen on but i think that'd be great I mean, for a lot of people being able to have their mix and then be able to uh you know use this screen here throw another screen off to the side um you know that yeah. way instead of extending it forward uh the reach on a show i think that'd be pretty good yeah well, that's cool so, man you know pretty hey. stoked man it's just uh again Okay, just going through the paces, you know, having a good time with it, man. That's what you gotta do. You gotta have a good time with the way stuff, man. That's what's up. So boom, look at all that. We got that taxes, got all that. Oh, hey, oh my god, oh my goodness, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
by the way, I gotta I gotta say one little thing. Like, where did you get the pickle soda from? <laughs> I think that's Kiara's fault. I know, that's Kiara's stuff. <laughs> that's as he is wife's fault. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she loves the pickle soda. Alright guys, well it's been Shorty with Table Syrup Sound. Ian behind the camera with Table Syrup Sound. That's me. Hey! So we'll catch so you next we time. Alright, peace.